and suffering I got angry one day and I just threw a chair at my teacher. She filed uh, charges against me. I was taking a knife. I was cutting the back of the chair with a knife. The, the blade was the knife. The silver knife was about, was about that long. I would violate probation. I would go into drugs. I would not listen to my mom's rules. I would run away. I go off. Sometimes I run. I start hitting things. Just taking all my anger out on everything and every person that's there. So I guess you can say, yeah, I did turn a little bit to the dark side a little bit. I did. In just one year, an additional 35,000 violent criminals and more than 250 murderers will emerge as adults who would never have become violent criminals, if not for the abuse or neglect they endured as kids. Imagine every day, everywhere, life's cheap, especially your own. Imagine learning that the best way to do things right is to do nothing at all. Imagine such realities where your childhood, every day, imagine how you might have turned out. Show us the sign. To make us believe again There's no other way Like, to me, it's like wanting to do better. It makes me feel good because I'm doing something. And it feels like you're actually noticed. I'm on a mission, you know. I'm trying to make sure my mom, you know, trying to keep her proud of me. So I'll tell you the story of uh, the first large volunteer group I had painted the second floor hallway. This is a few years ago. And it was a Saturday, so people were giving up their time. And this, this group, this dorm of boys said to Jerry and I, what did you have to do, Pam, like a million dollars to be here? And we said, no, they're here because they care about you. And there's a lady across the street and she had a ton of rock for landscaping delivered. It was in the street, and she had to disperse it. And so these six young men said, hey, we could do that. That's the key, see? They said, somebody cared about us today, and we know how good that felt, and we have something to give that will help somebody else. That's the power. That's the magic. And there's just nothing better than that. At Denver Children's Home, we believe that every individual can change the world by caring about their community. Because I think everyone has a way that they can contribute. And we teach the children at Denver Children's Home that they have an obligation to help others in need. That they're just not victims, but they have something to contribute. 
they can volunteer and they could do something for others in need to help them know that they're worthwhile. So everyone at any age can do something if it speaks to their heart. In giving to others, even you can change the world. Please don't forget about me.